Hey guys, what's going on? Kyle Kruger here today, and today is going to be a day where we're going to talk about good news. So it's been, obviously, a pretty rough weekend. It's really unsettling to see more black men being shot by police using excessive force for no reason, and I think it's really important to reiterate the fact that Black Lives Matter, um, not that I speak for them, but they're not trying to say that only Black Lives Matter. What they're trying to say is, what I gather that they're trying to say is, is Black Lives Matter too. Of course, Everyone matters. Of course, we're all human, we all matter. But all races in America aren't being targeted disproportionately by police brutality. Good news came out of this weekend. One of my favorite stories was from this young woman named Natasha Howell. She wrote about her experience meeting police officers in a convenience store when she was going in to get a protein bar. The beautiful thing about the story is she said that she saw two white police officers with a white clerk. And she walked in to get a protein bar and she turned around and she noticed that police, one of the older cops was following her and she looked at him when she was walked up to the end of the aisle and he asked how she was doing and she said she was doing okay and then he asked her how are you really doing which is such a beautiful question right like all this is going on and how do you feel and she said I feel tired and he said me too and uh, it just that was when that gave me full body chills right for them to connect in this moment she states that he said, I guess it's not easy being either of us right now, is it? And she said, no, it's not. Then he hugged her and she said she cried and she had never seen that man before in her life. She says, what I did know is that he and I shared a moment this morning that was absolutely beautiful. No judgments, no justifications, just two people sharing a moment. And it was just so amazing to see in a time like this, that a police officer and a young woman of color coming together and having a moment in all of this darkness. And I'm just so happy that she shared this. So thank you so much for sharing this. I consider myself pro-human, right? I am pro-black. I also support police officers and I'm very grateful for what they do for us. So I think it's really important to highlight that we can be pro-human and we can be pro-police and pro-black. We can move to a better place where these people aren't being targeted. Another thing that happened this weekend that I thought was really inspiring was of one photo that I saw of people, black and white, covering a baby with a mother who was um, there during the protest while the shooting was going on. They all huddled around her to protect her baby. And that display reminded me that there are angels here, right? And that people are good. Across the world, there was a terrorist bombing in Iraq. And there was a young man, seen right here, and an ISIS terrorist was wearing a suicide vest, and which I guess is basically like a bomb from what I understand. And this man physically ran to the terrorist and hugged him and grabbed him and took him to the ground and absorbed the blast. And by doing this, like significantly reduced the casualty amount and saved so many people. It was uplifting to hear that this young Muslim man took his life to save all of these other people. And I just think that was so inspiring. Okay, so today in sports, <laughs> just like most of you, I'm a Serena Williams fan. I mean, who is not a fan of this woman? This weekend, this Saturday, she won her 22nd Grand Slam title, tying Steffi Graf's record. Also in sports, Portugal won the Euro Cup, which is really great because we got to see Cristiano Ronaldo shirtless. So congrats to Portugal and Cristiano Ronaldo. Thank you so much for being half naked for us. We very much appreciate it. Also in sports, it seems that the US Women's National Soccer Team has put out their roster for the Olympics. And yes, my sister is on it, which I'm very, very, very happy about. So congratulations, Allie, and to all the other girls who have made the Olympic team. We cannot wait to support you in Rio. I'm so excited and I love you so much. Mwah. Over a dozen celebrities got together and sang a song called Hands. It's dedicated to the 49 victims of the shooting in Orlando. You can find the song on iTunes. It was released on July 5th. All the proceeds from this song go to the Equality Florida Pulse Victims Fund, the LGBT Center for Central Florida, and also GLAAD. This week in politics, Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker signed a transgendered rights bill. This bill specifically allows transgendered individuals who live in Massachusetts to use locker rooms, changing rooms, bathrooms, facilities that match their gender identity. So this is another great step for transgendered rights and for transgendered individuals. So obviously very good news. 
Adult coloring books are becoming more popular, right? Which is great because it's an inexpensive way to express your creativity. This publisher, Health Communications, has released a book called Inspirations for Recovery. So this is like such a cute idea and I love coloring and I loved coloring growing up and me and my mom used to color all the time when I was a kid. Maybe I'll go out and buy one of these coloring books and you should too, even if you're not in recovery. Who cares? Coloring is awesome. You guys can stop playing Pokemon Go and running into traffic. <laughs> okay guys, that's it for today. Um, thanks so much for tuning in for all the good news that I could fit into this video. If you're looking for more good news, you can easily find it online. Just search in good news and it pops right up. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Kyle Your Hair. And that's it, I guess, right? Okay, bye guys, see you next week.